Today we're in the Ping Tour Van discussing some brand new irons, the beautiful I-59 irons. We're going to tell you everything you need to know about these irons. If you like this video, drop us a like on YouTube, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you want our final thoughts on these irons, make sure to skip to the end of the video where we give our final take. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf. I'm joined by Michael Geiger here in the Ping Tour Van. We've got some brand new irons, the I-59 irons from Ping. Uh, these things are, they're beautiful. Look at, I mean, that, that design, that finish is beautiful. And if I look at them too, they're in that player's cavity category. So they're gonna kind of be for those more consistent, better ball strikers here. Starting off, we're just gonna talk about kind of the main details of these irons here. So I mentioned for better ball strikers, they're gonna fall kind of in between the blueprint and the I-210 in the ping iron line. So um, that, that's gonna be for those players that hit the center of the face quite often, but there is a lot of forgiveness packed in these things. Definitely, Drew. What, as you kind of uh, alluded there, it's really in that Goldilocks zone in terms of players irons where it's not quite the blueprint level um, where it's got that really narrow uh, profile at the dress, but it's also got plenty of technology uh, that we'll get to mm -hmm. where even the better players who need forgiveness from time to time will get that with the I-59. Yeah, so everything about these irons, you know, you talk about like the lofts, the specs, it's gonna be very similar to iBlade, but of course there is those little bit of fine tuning and uh, improvements in technology made. Um, and as we know with Ping, they're top of the line when it comes to fitting. The 10 color code chart that they have, these irons are going to be built with any of those color code options for you as well. Um, but we talk about the, the specs and the materials and the uh, options that you have in terms of fitting, right? So the stock steel shaft is the True Temper Project XLS. That's a new offering for Ping. And then the graphite shafts are going to be the UST Recoil 780 ES and the Alta CB Slate. So two graphite options for you. And the stock grip is going to be the Golf Pride MCC White with that Arcos technology that I'm a huge fan of. Um, so, and of course, these irons that we we're at the you know in the fall season almost here, but these things have already gotten a ton of success on PJ Tour. A lot of PJ Tour pros put these in the bag immediately, and a big reason why is the forged feel. So you got the forged, uh, the forged soft carbon body. Uh, you have, I mean, it, it's just it's everything about it screams player iron with some control to it. Definitely, I think that's that's really the first thing you see with these irons is you look at them and immediately you see the typical ping forged look where it's not going to look out of place in a better player's uh, bag. Mm -hmm. But as you, you, you got to there, the, the big thing with this, this iron is the Alumacore insert. Uh, this is really the, the main technology that you'll find in these. What, uh, what the Ping engineers did is the insert right behind the club face, they hollowed it out where it's now, the insert is now made of aluminum and it's a third the density of your typical stainless seal. So what they were able to do with that extra weight is they redistribute it around the toe and the heel where you have a club that has the same rough blade length and the same rough profile, but so much more technology, mm -hmm. so much higher MOI, and so much more forgiveness for those players who need that on their miss hits. Absolutely, and you know, it's, it's, they're able to you know, make an iron that's way smaller, uh, but it has that forgiveness of really what the I-210 offers. Um, so that's kind of a little bit larger club head shape, a little bit larger profile, um, but it's got that added weight in the perimeter that gives you the forgiveness you need, but that soft feel and that workability of a blade type iron. So uh, Ping has done a ton with these irons and they've offered a lot of technology in there. Um, and I think it's really gonna be a great option for those golfers that maybe don't want the absolute slimmest of like the blades such as the Blueprint. They want a little bit more forgiveness. That's where the I-59 will come into play and that's why it's hard having so much success. Definitely. There's, while you may be seeing these irons for the first time, these irons have been tried and tested on the PGA Tour for months now. And uh, it's, a, it's a very exciting opportunity uh, for you at home to, to get a look at a modern classic. Absolutely, well, I think it's time to take these out to the course, huh? Let's, see how, they, let's see how they test out. Let's do it. All right, Michael, we're out on the range. We've got the I-59 irons with us. Um, we're gonna test them out here. We're gonna test all that technology we talked about in the van. Yep. Um, one thing I wanna get your perspective on first. We put, we kind of got to see the clubs in the van. Yep. But I want to have you put the club behind the ball as you're ready to hit and tell me what you see, you know, what kind of confidence it inspires, um, you know, the visual cues that you're presented with. First off, it's a gorgeous club. It's, it's got that classic ping look, that mm -hmm. kind of higher toe. It's got a few more, it seems to have a few more grooves. Uh, it seems to be 
if the i210 sort of got a personal trainer it got in the gym it's a bit thinner it's a bit <laughs> leaner around the toe a little bit less offset so it, it also it kind of sits in that eye blade yeah, yeah. i210 area performance wise and look wise mm -hmm. uh but it's a gorgeous club absolutely yeah and so uh, that's what i mean i love that, that example of kind of getting in the weight room sure if it's 90 but sure. the i210 that's perfect it is it's just a little bit thinner all around but it has kind of the same overall shape and construction definitely of it, but not, of course that forged piece too which i'm sure we'll get to know more about here as you test exactly yeah but looks wise it's it's excellent perfect well let's hit a few let's right? do it how about uh kind of be, give me your sort of baseline yeah. you know numbers to, for a seven iron roughly for a seven iron i like it to be kind of operate in that 170 to 175 okay. range that's kind of my window okay so we'll see Oh, that, that just sounded so crisp. So solid. Oh, the club twirl, too. Well, you said 170, didn't you? I did. So you carried it 168.1. Okay. And it traveled a total of 169.7. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm a foot short, Drew. God, you, you actually have to think about that putt just a little bit for Bernie. That is just pure. I mean, this thing is butter, Drew. So now I got to ask feel. So we're two shots in. Yep. Um, and it, I mean, they both sounded tremendous for one. And for what, are, for what it's worth, that one was a carry of 170.4, total 171.9. So <laughs> a, you're pretty dialed, so but far, B, so good. those are some precise golf clubs. Yeah. Uh, and give me the feel now on sure. those. Sure. So I tend to like irons a touch on the softer side. Yeah. And, and this one is, it has that soft, buttery feel through impact. The turf interaction is excellent, mm -hmm. but you still get that really solid, really penetrating yeah. flight and sound. Um, it, so it really gives you both the feel that you can, you can work shots, but also the confidence that you can, if you really want to go after it, yeah, you, can really, sure. you can really dial up the distance. There's the pull hook. See, now that didn't sound like you made as clean of contact. No. So I'm interested to see how that performs. See, so what, usually happens, spin will drop a little bit, yep. but the distance was still very consistent, right? So a little over, carry was 170.6, okay. total 173.9. And the concern with that pull hook, a lot of times, you especially see it with like your, as Larry Bobka says, user-friendly irons, but game improvement irons, mm -hmm. is that that thing really takes off and you get an extra 15, 20 yards and then you're really in jail. Here, very consistent, um, which is nice to Definitely. know that if you miss it a little bit like that, and then maybe that is a miss for you that's kind of common, you're still going to be in good shape. Sure. That's what you get, I think, with the forged iron especially. You get that consistency knowing that mm -hmm. you're not going to get one just jumping on you. So that was a touch, maybe a groove or too low or too high. Okay. A little thick. Curious to see okay. what the uh, numbers look like. A touch. See, I mean, you still, it's total distance of 167. So, okay. you know, what is that? A few yards short of your, your target and it's probably you know what, probably 10 yards offline there. So yeah. you're still probably not in jail on no. that one, which is nice to know. Again, you're missing it a little bit, but there is enough forgiveness, a little, enough perimeter weighting. And then they've, with the Illumicore uh, technology in there, they're able to redistribute some weight in there due to the, the core being not as dense. Sure. And obviously that's helping out with a club that, look, I mean, it looks like that. You don't think exactly. forgiveness, but there is some in No, there. I mean, the first thing I noticed was that it was a bit thinner, which leads you to believe players less forgiving. Yeah. But so far, the, yeah. in, in terms of distance, especially, those miss hits are still mm -hmm. traveling pretty pretty close to where I want them to be. Drifted a touch left, but not bad. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, first of all, your your prediction in terms of yardage was pretty darn good. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the table here. We can I mean look at these numbers on your shots here. So so I I mean total, your carry distance on average 168.0, total 170.8. And that was with you know that one or two missing sure. there that maybe took it down a notch, but not as much as we would have thought with a club that thin and that players looking. So um, I mean that's pretty good numbers there. And I mean in total you're also you're hitting the ball high enough, right? Your your peak height was up there over a hundred feet. So Yep. Um, and, and I really like to see kind of a mid flight and so far that's been that's been pretty much right the exact window I kinda mm -hmm. like to see the ball going. Yeah, in. for sure, for sure. Well now I'm curious too because we talked about this forgiveness. Um, where it can really almost you can lose it is a four iron or even longer iron. And yep. we have the four iron with us today. 
Um, now, it might be a little intimidating to look at. It's not, I mean, I play a fire and much larger than that, but uh, I'd like to see you hit that and then we can get some feedback there and see if that forgiveness carries from the mid iron to the long iron. Let's find out. Wow. I can tell you hit that one, Pierre. Not bad, Drew. <laughs> So I'm curious, I, my, my typical foreign, I like to see it go about kind of in that 215, 220 range. <laughs> what a joke, because you carried it 215.7. Okay. And you, your total was 223.9 on that one. All um, right. So. It's I-59. The, it's, it, believe it or not, viewers, we did not like, you know, I didn't <laughs> know his foreign distance before this, and he just happened to say exactly what he just hit the ball, so. So that was a touch, touch towards the heel, kind okay. of that high right miss, which is my miss with a long iron. Okay, okay. So that one carried 200 and it went a total of 207. Okay. 206.3, so. Okay, about a half so, club. Yeah, so I mean you club, missed, club short. you probably, yeah, about, you know, in that 10 to 15 yard uh, yep. sort of punishment, if you will. Sure, so, um, and if that's, you know, if that's front right greenside bunker, not the end of the world, so mm -hmm. not too torn up about that one. Oh yeah. Still about a groove thin, but pretty impressive flight. It's also, yeah, I kind of, I feel like it's piercing through the wind even. Definitely. The fact that you did hit it low in the face would generally move up your spin rate quite a bit and kind of derail that distance. But I mean, that one still carried over, well, you totaled 210 there and 203 carry. So uh, that ball flight was really nice though. And it looks like you can for sure work these things if you're a player that, you know, is a, someone that likes to kind of flight the ball or yep. work the ball a little bit. These yep. clubs are certainly doing that. Definitely. No, again, the. Even with a long iron, I'm still seeing a consistency with the spin and the flight, the same as mm -hmm. I got with the seven iron, which is, which is very impressive. Little pull. Well, I think, you know, this, I'm impressed again with how this is, the forgiveness of it, yep. carrying over, you know? It's, it's funny you mentioned that through impact. That was one really ob big observation I had is through impact, the club feels very square and it yeah. feels very stable where even if you hit, catch it towards the heel or you hit sort of a pull, the club feels, it stays fairly square. Yeah. And, and you get that kind of straighter shot. I mean, that's the MOI. That's what, you know, Larry Bobka likes to say, resistance to twist, you know, on like a putter. That's Perfect. what he talks about, but it's, yep. it works here where if you do miss the center, your club will twist a little bit, uh, just a little bit, but this is resistant a little bit with that extra weight on the perimeter. So um, that's, uh, that's really good stuff. I mean, that's, that's a great looking iron, great performing iron. Yep. I kind of want to see if we can get some shots on the course now a little bit. Let's, let's see how it performs out on the course. Well, Michael, I'm at my perfect 7 yard distance in the fairway here. I'm going to bring out the I-59 here. Let's see it. Oh, you see that light on the green? That thing came straight back. That was nice. Little nine iron. Nine iron. About 145 yards. Into a slight breeze today. With a touch of wind, should be perfect. Oh, wow. Cut. <laughs> Look at that one. That's right on the pin. I love how that like was like it kind of started piercing through the wind yep. and then it got yeah, it kind of the wind eventually held up just enough and yep. it just drops right down almost. It, it held its it flight, great. but you can you can still work it. It's, oh it's, yeah, it's a really it nice held its mix. flight, and then it kind of it worked as it worked as exactly. it would have with a kind of a fade swing on it. That's a bit short. Michael, testing complete of the I-59 irons. Uh, I am very impressed with basically every aspect of the irons, but um, I was especially impressed with the forgiveness that you were able to get hitting the range here um, yep. on some of your maybe miss hits, not quite perfect contact. The distance retention, I guess, I mean, they didn't really drop off that much like you would expect no. on something like this compact and this thin. No, and I think anytime you look at an iron, one of the big questions for the consumer especially is who is this really for? And I think what you see is an iron that really across from pitching wedge to, to three and four iron, it really can appeal to a lot of different players. I think even a player who maybe has blades, maybe has the uh, um, 
the blueprints and mm -hmm. maybe their short irons would do well to have one of these longer irons these i-59 long irons in their bag because you still get a lot of forgiveness mm -hmm. but a very appealing top line a very appealing profile but then with the short irons i think you see a, a, an iron that would be just fine in the bag of a mid handicap absolutely yeah i mean it's one of those like you know we talk about combo sets and i'm a big fan of combo sets proponent of them i actually have a combo set i-500 and i-210 in my bag uh, but I could, you know, as we've mentioned over and over, this has the forgiveness, too, of the I-210, the way it's built. Yep. Um, with the Illumi core in there, they're able to add that weight to the perimeter and stabilize the iron at impact. And I certainly felt that when I was hitting a couple shots out on the course, very comparable to my I-210s. And so, and then plus you get the forged feel and all that in there. Yep. It's it's buttery, but also adds that stability in there, too. Definitely. So uh, it's it's a tremendous iron. And um, it was cool to get out there on the course and throw a couple darts out there. A couple good ones, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a reminder to the viewers, um, the Ping I-59 irons are available in all 10 color codes. So, of course, Ping's always been a leader in terms of fitting and making sure every golfer can get into one of their golf clubs. Um, and in the stock shaft is True Temper Project X LS. Uh, and the stock grip is going to be your Golf Pride MCC White with that Arcos technology. Another great aspect uh, and a great benefit to have of these irons. Definitely. Uh, and, of course, to get fit, stop into Second Swing. Uh, schedule your fitting online, secondswing.com, or you can contact our online fitting and support team and get a phone fitting as well. Uh, but either way, we want to dial these irons in for you and help you play better. Lastly as well, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel because we can only put these together with your help and your support watching our channel, subscribing to our channel as well. So we appreciate you for that. And uh, again, thank you for joining us for this episode of The Swing Report. Michael, uh, some great ball striking today as well. And uh, obviously the I-59 irons are only helping you out. So thanks for joining today. Drew, it was a pleasure. Cheers.